Our quest for a new home has brought us a long way. We are 365 million miles from Earth in orbit around the giant planet Jupiter. Could we survive here? Perhaps in the turbulent upper atmosphere? That depends on what's happening around us. On Jupiter, that means looking at its moons. Io is tiny, but it's the most volcanic body in our solar system. And living next to a volcano is never a good idea. Dr. Rosalie Lopez is a volcanologist. She's come to the Kilauea Volcano Range in Hawaii, one of the closest matches on Earth to Io's fiery surface. This is very much what the surface of Io may look like, particularly close to the lava flows. Uh, there would be lava flows just like this, solid at the surface with underneath us hot lava flowing. Like Kilauea, Io spews lava from its superheated interior. But that's where the similarities stop. The volume of lava that Io's volcanoes erupt is quite staggering. If we do a comparison with Kilauea, in five months, Kilauea might cover four square miles. But Iowa erupts about 100 times the volume of lava. One lava flow on Iowa covered 240 square miles. Iowa's volcanoes are deadly, but they aren't the real killer. Before the lava can get you, the radiation will. Just 10 minutes on the surface, and you're toast. Even over 200,000 miles away, in Jupiter's upper atmosphere, an unprotected human could only survive a matter of hours. The volcanic particles that Io blasts out into space become trapped in Jupiter's enormous magnetic field. Jupiter's rapid rotation accelerates them to fantastic speeds. They're like microscopic cannonballs. They form a radiation belt around Jupiter, cutting through almost anything in their path. They're sufficiently intense that a human would receive a lethal dosage within just 10 minutes. So uh, you couldn't just fly through the system uh, and survive, you would fry up this intense bombardment would destroy your flesh and the organs inside, everything. We just don't have the technology to protect ourselves from radiation this fierce. Jupiter is one planet we'll never call home. <laughs> 